Hello everyone! Thank you for taking time to watch another great video from the Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to be making some fried potato skins and a super easy base for cheese sauce. With this recipe you can add jalapenos or spicy salsa. Cayenne pepper, oregano, and chili powder make it more spicy for some great nacho cheese sauce if you would like. Or you can do just about anything to make it yours. Toss it in some macaroni for macaroni and cheese, whatever you want. Yum! The tools that you're going to need to make this super easy fried potato skins with cheese sauce are either some kind of a fryer or a thick pot to fry your potato skins in. You'll need a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a paring knife, a regular knife, a pan, <clears throat> paper towels, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a mixing spoon. You'll probably need some tongs, a rubber spatula. This is the scoop for the fryer. It's going to help scoop out the potato skins. A strain, a couple of strainers, another pot, and a food processor or a blender. Let's go ahead and go over the ingredients that we will need to make this dish. First thing you'll need is four to six potatoes that have been par cooked and skinned. These potato skins I used for the potato curry recipe that I had just made. So I have these on hand. So like if you're making potato salad or something else like that that requires uh, peeled potatoes, don't throw those skins away. You can use them for this recipe. And then I also have some uh, sea salt and some black pepper and grains of paradise that I'm going to use to season these with when they come out of the oil. This is approximately half a teaspoon of each. Now for the cheese sauce, what you'll need is three quarters of a cup of raw unsalted cashews that has been soaked overnight and drained. You'll need one half teaspoon of sea salt, one half cup of nutritional yeast flakes, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, approximately three quarters of a cup of water, and this is going to vary depending upon uh, how thick the cashews end up being. So this is gonna be uh, like a more or less type of thing. You'll have to go by, um, by consistency of it. You'll need one quarter of a cup of vegan margarine, one teaspoon of minced garlic, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper or grains of paradise, one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one quarter teaspoon of paprika, and we're also going to use some fresh chopped parsley and paprika to garnish the uh, potato skins with cheese sauce. So now that we have, I have told you what ingredients you need, go ahead and pause the video, go out and buy the ingredients, and then come back. I'll be waiting for you. Great to see you back. Let's go ahead and start. First thing that we're going to do is make the cheese sauce. So we'll go ahead and prepare the base. Add in your cashews, your salt, Dijon mustard, and again that's three quarters of a cup of cashews that are raw that I soaked overnight. One half teaspoon of sea salt and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And we're going to go ahead and add in our half a cup of nutritional yeast flakes and about half of the water. And we'll use this just to start and then we'll go from there. So go ahead and get, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, all mixed up. Let's take a look and see how it is. Uh, it looks like it is ready for the next step. So 
So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get my pan and a strainer. And what I want to do is just in case there's a bit or two that did not get all blended up to keep from having really lumpy uh, cheese sauce here. I'm going to go ahead and run it through a strainer. So in that way, it is, it turns out to be nice and smooth like the real thing. I have this strained. Now let's go ahead and go over to the stove and start cooking it. I made a mistake. It happens. It's happened before. It'll happen again. Don't put the cashew mixture directly into the pan. Because we're going to need to blossom out our spices first. So, I went ahead and moved the cashew mixture out of the pan, cleaned the pan, and now I've got this sitting on medium-high heat, waiting for the remainder of the ingredients. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start by putting in the quarter cup of vegan margarine into the pan. Next we're going to add in our teaspoon of minced garlic, quarter teaspoon of black pepper or grains of paradise, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, quarter teaspoon of paprika. We're going to give this a good mix. I'm going to saute it for just a moment or two just to allow the spices and the garlic to blossom a bit. Now we're going to add the cashew mixture. Stir it really well. Bring your heat down to low or simmer. And what we're going to do is we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes or so and we're going to watch it and we're going to see if it needs more water. If it needs more water, we'll go ahead and add it as needed. You kind of want it to be the thickness of nacho cheese sauce. So that's what we're going for. So when you think that you need to add water, if it's thicker than nacho cheese sauce, go ahead and add that water. And while this is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and fry the potato skins, so we're going to go back over to the counter. Cheese sauce is back behind me on the stove cooking. I'm going to go ahead and fry the potatoes. I'm going to be using a mini fryer this time. You can use a pot um, and fry your potatoes there. Uh, again, as I have mentioned in other videos, the best way to test to see if the oil is ready, whether you're using a fryer or a pot, is to dip a corner of whatever you're cooking into the oil. And if you see bubbles, it's ready to go. And you can't see into this, but it is bubbling. So carefully add your potato skins into your hot oil. And we're going to fry them until they're a nice golden brown and you probably want to do this in batches so then that way you're not overflowing your pot or your fryer later. And I'm going to go ahead and continue frying the potatoes until they are all done. Once they leave the hot oil, immediately garnish them with your salt and your peppers so it sticks to the potatoes because if the oil is cold, then your spices, whether it be salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, oregano, basil, whatever you're frying with, 
it sticks to the items that you're actually frying. I have my potatoes nice and fried. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my fryer and tend to the cheese sauce. And once the cheese sauce is done cooking, I'll go ahead and get this plated for you. What do you say? Cheese sauce is done. Potato skins are fried. Let's go ahead and plate. And I'm taking my fried and seasoned potato skins, putting them on a nice big plate. So, come on. Now, what I'll do is take this yummy cheese sauce that I made, and I'm gonna pour it on top of the potato skins. And as you can see, it's gonna be a nice, fun, messy meal to eat. Perfect for the kids. Perfect for those football or basketball games. Now, I'll just go ahead and garnish it with some parsley. Make it look nice and pretty. And a little bit of paprika on top. Just like that. Doesn't that look beautiful? I hope that this cheese sauce recipe helps you make your own cheese sauce in the future. Again, the cheese sauce recipe was just kind of a tip, kind of a technique. Add your own flavors to it. Make it Mexican. Put it on top of nachos. Add some Italian seasonings. Put it on some pasta. Put it on potato skin. Put it on anything that you want to. You'll be able to find this recipe and a whole lot more at thefatveganchef.com. Please follow us at your favorite social media site. Tell your friends and family about us. If you liked this recipe, if you like what we're doing, please consider donating at tfbc.org forward slash donate. I would certainly appreciate that. That helps me make more recipes, more tips, more techniques, more articles for you. Thank you very much.